The International Year of Cooperatives is finally underway, promising to deliver a myriad of opportunities to inform and educate the public about the cooperative business model and the distinct value it brings to the marketplace and to the lives of millions. What is the legacy you'd like to see come from this observance? The question was posed to several attendees at the recent annual conference of the National Cooperative Business Association in Minneapolis. And here's what they had to say. I'm Martin Lowry. I'm the Executive Vice President of NRECA, the National Rural Electric Cooperative Association, and the outgoing Chair of the Board of the National Co-op Business Association. I'm very excited about the International Year of Cooperatives coming up in 2012, and I have one great hope, and that is that by the end of the year, we have moved to an, another level of understanding of cooperatives globally and within the United States, such that we never have to answer the question again of what is a cooperative. No backsliding, let's move forward and get the entire world recognizing the importance of cooperatives as strong economic and social problem solvers. I'm Sue Douglas with the State Employees Credit Union in Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm over uh, electronic delivery systems and risk management. And the International Year of the Cooperative should benefit all cooperatives in several ways. One is we should learn how to work better across cooperative different network, different types of credit unions, food co-ops, should learn a lot about working with each other across sector. Second is our member owners should have a better understanding and appreciation of who they are and that we do work for them and that we are in business to benefit them. And I hope that through the whole world concentrating on cooperatives, that, that message will be shared with everyone. Hi, I'm Paul Hazen. I'm the Chief Executive of the National Cooperative Business Association. I think the legacy for me is that uh, I hope for one day that I won't have to explain to my neighbors and friends what a cooperative is, and that they'll be instantly know and recognize cooperatives as a business model that can make their community better. My name is Sarah Pike. I'm with the Association of Cooperative Educators, and I am a DE. Um, what I see as, I'd like to see as a legacy for 2012 is really a, a point that we can look back on and say, look where we've come from, from there, you know. Um, so I don't want to see uh, 2012 being a great year and then fizzle out, but I'd like to see all, a, a starting point for lots of progressive steps for credit unions working with cooperatives and other cooperatives working together. So it's really a point to reassess and come together and build off of that. Michael Spank, Innovation Strategist with Local Government Federal Credit Union in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, International Year Cooperatives. What I would like to see come from this uh, is one, a little bit of a unification among cooperatives to work a little more collaboratively. Uh, we speak of the six principle cooperation among cooperatives uh, and over the years, the eight years that I've been in cooperatives, I don't see them cooperating like they should. So I would hope that this will be something that will bring us together so that we can have a better, stronger message for uh, the world essentially. Um, and beyond that, if we can be successful in doing that, I think we will get the legacy, which I think is most important, that uh, our fellow human beings will be aware of the advantages of cooperatives, the offerings of cooperatives, and the breadth of services that they can find through cooperatives. Uh, because if they do, it will make cooperatives stronger, and all together we can build a little bit better of a world. Hi, my name's Tom Webb, and I'm with the Program Manager with the Master of Management Cooperatives and Credit Unions program at St. Mary's University, which is a, an international program for managers and co-ops and credit unions, obviously. And uh, our contribution to 2012 is to formulate an alternative, an alternative of hope for people in terms of the economy, uh, because it's not a great source of hope at, at present. And what we want people to come away from the conference we're organizing in Quebec City with Desjardins uh, and come away from the International Cooperative Summit uh, is uh, an understanding of an economy that meets human need uh, rather than just fueling human greed. Uh, and I hope that uh, it will not only lift the spirits of co-op people and have them understand how important what they are doing is, but it will, the reach will be beyond that to the public uh, so that they come to understand there is another way of organizing an economy and meeting our needs 
and that is one of hope and, uh, and, and well-being. I'm Jim Jones. I work with co-ops largely with youth. I've been doing it for about 40 years now. Uh, looking at the year of cooperatives in 2012, it really seems to me that it's an incredible opportunity for us to bring a lot of things together. There's so much energy out there and there's so many people that are interested in finding alternatives now. If we can only pull ourselves together across the sectors, finding ways of old and young working together in various projects, I think that it's going to give us a, a, a way of energizing our entire community for future benefit. And I'm looking forward to that. Hello, I'm Charles Gould. I'm the Director General of the International Cooperative Alliance in Geneva, and we're the global umbrella organization for cooperatives around the world. We have members in over 100 countries, and we were set up in 1895 by cooperatives to advance the cooperative movement. And we are very active in preparations for the International Year of Cooperatives. The ICA Global Board has decided that there's one thing we ought to do this year and do it really well, and that is to raise the public awareness of cooperatives as a values-based business model that's controlled by members, as a different governance model. So there's three kind of key messages in that. One is that we're, we're a serious business model that has scale. Second, we're values-based. Sustainability is at our core. Fair banking, fair access is at our core. These aren't uh, corporate social responsibility marketing strategies. They're what it means to be a cooperative. And the third is that we have a governance model that works because it's accountable. The members who benefit from the cooperative are, uh, uh, are, the, are the governors of the, of the cooperative. So we think the real opportunity here is to not just celebrate who we are during 2012, but to use this as a launch for a cooperative decade. To, to get to the point where by 2020, the end of this decade, the cooperative is the fastest growing business model in the world. That won't happen in 2012. We won't be able to get that message out to everybody in 2012. But we can begin in 2012 to use the attention that the United Nations name brings to cooperatives to get that message started in a way that we're investing and building on for the rest of the decade.